want to measure the period of the pendulum, you first thing you need to do is set the length to the correct value. Here I have it at 0.99. And then you can pull the pendulum back so that it is less than 10 degrees. So if I go up here, that's too far. So I'm going to go less than 10 degrees. I'm going to put it at 8. And I can release it and let it go. Actually, when you first turn the simulation on, it would be set at normal. So this is the normal speed. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a stopwatch and I'm going to add a period trace. And the period trace just shows you, you know, what one complete uh, oscillation is. So it's really hard to start and stop the stopwatch in the normal mode. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit slow mode. And then I can go ahead and I can, I'm going to go ahead and hit fast again. And then when it starts, let's reset it again. So now when the trace starts, and you don't have to do it when the trace starts, but um, you can just watch the pendulum. I went ahead and I started the stopwatch when it was at the equilibrium position. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stop it when it reaches the equilibrium position again. So I got exactly two seconds. So keep in mind, you don't have to use the trace, the period trace, as long as you start it and then you make sure when it goes back and forth and you stop it at that same location. Or you get started and it's at its max as long as it gets back to its max. So the trace is just there to kind of help you.